In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the correct downswing sequence in your golf swing to improve your impact, that moment of truth. Stay tuned for more info. Welcome back to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today at Branston Golf and Country Club. Today's video, as I said, is all about impact, improving your impact position from a better downswing sequence. So uh, I'm, I'm not gonna focus on this video about the backswing movement, but what we're talking about is how we start the downswing. So that very first movement, starting with our lower body first, then into impact to really get this firm lead side that we can hit against and improve our impact position. And I'm gonna be sharing with you a really simple drill. And I'm actually gonna start with the drill, I'm gonna start with the exercise because I think it might be a little easier to show and explain once we're in our setup position from here. So, if I pop a ball down, and what I would use is just a cane running up the side of your lead leg. So my lead leg for me as a right-handed golfer is my left leg, my left side. So if I push a, a cane into the ground, if I could get it a little bit further in there, I'm just gonna pop this over the top just so it's a little bit more comfortable. Right, so what I'm gonna be almost doing here is just leaving a small gap from my lead hip to the cane. So I've got around an inch gap or so. And what I want as the start of the downswing movement is I want my lead side, and actually I would normally feel it with my lead knee moving out towards the tubing here, the cane that's up the side of my leg. So it's closing this gap here, okay? That gets my lead side to hit from about my uh, thigh, my knee upwards towards my hip, hitting that lead, uh, that cane that's in front of my lead side here. And then what I'm looking to do is actually rotate and almost feel like my whole lead side extends up this line. It is an area I've talked about before, but it's a really vital area. And it's an area I've had a few questions on about sequencing the downswing and improving your impact. So I thought I'd revisit this subject and, and film another video, um, just showing you what I think is perhaps the best exercise. Something obviously works great off turf where you can push something into the ground. Uh, if you can't get anything, if you're on the driving range, it may just be putting a range bucket or something similar in front of you and pushing the cane through that and still leaving that little gap from your lead hip to the cane. Could just be an at-home exercise, a garden drill. But what I want you to feel in the transition is that lead knee moving out towards the tubing. Here, the cane. And then my lead side is gonna be rotating and working up this line. What I get some people doing is they get this first movement correct. They get this lead knee, uh, this little bump almost towards the target, but then they actually work backwards away from the target and they create this big separation here that you'll see uh, as I'm working away from the target. The idea is to stop golfers who laterally slide too much and would charge into this at the start of the downswing, but also to stop people hanging back. So we want the correct sequence of events and the correct sequence gets my arms working naturally better on the downswing. So if in the transition, my lead knee could move out back to its original position, back towards the target, my lead side hits this cane here and my arms will naturally just drop. That sets the pressure into my lead heel. That's getting this correct sequence of events where I'm really not thinking about it. It's just my lead side moving towards the target and that's setting the pressure onto my lead side. From halfway down, if my body is now rotating and staying on that line, the pressure is increasing into my lead side rather than moving away from the target that we don't want to see. So that correct sequence again is the lead knee moving out towards the original position. That's hitting this cane here that I'm really looking for. And then my lower body starting to rotate towards the target. So let me go ahead and actually see if I can hit one here with that correct sequence of events. So let's leave that small gap up the side of my lead leg. So I'll just move the ball until I get a comfortable position. In that transition, let's get that feeling of my lead knee 
moving back towards its original position to hit this cane and then my lead side rotating open and I would start from a small movement so let's just do it as a broken down exercise first let's stop at the top bump here with my lead knee getting into its original position small pump movement and just extend that lead side up the cane it wasn't my best contact but get that feeling of my lead side extending up the line let's now try one move a little bit further back still in the right position for me let's just do one now without stopping just trying to go that movement of feeling my lower body bump and then rotate so I'm not trying to the wrong movement will be sliding laterally too much into this or going forwards and then moving back away from the target so let's feel like the transition movement is that little bump towards the cane and then my lower body is going to be rotating open. That strike felt very, very solid. It's over obviously very, very quickly, so I'd encourage you to look at it on video to see your sequence of events. But it's that feeling that your lead side is moving ground first. So we are starting, or ground up, I should say. So we're starting with our lower body moving towards the cane rather than our upper body moving at the start of the downswing. Often, if we're in the wrong sequence initially, we'll react and that's why we'll tend to move back away from the target. So this one simple drill, just using that cane up the side, your lead leg is really going to improve your impact position. Make sure you give it a go. Make sure you let me know how you get on. If that video has helped, hit the thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for all the other content. Cheers, guys.